Let's go ahead and unbox our Robo E3 Pro. You can go ahead and take off the foam pieces at the top. And then what you're gonna do is take the entire printer out of the box and set it down on a flat surface. Don't forget to take the contents out of the bottom of the box, such as filament and spool holder and all that. Now go ahead and take the foam out of the top piece and you can remove the power cord from that piece as well. Now you can unwrap it and start taking off all of the tape and plastic. You're gonna to wanna to open the door and slowly pull out the top cap so that it doesn't damage anything. And set that to the side after you unwrap it from its bag. Now you're gonna to wanna to plug in your machine and turn it on. Now you take off the clips that hold it for delivery and transportation. There should be three of them, two on the sides and one on the front. Now we're gonna to go to tools and manual, and we're gonna lift that Z minus, so that way it lifts the bed up and you'll be able to get the foam at the bottom of the printer. Once you're a little bit over halfway, you'll be able to take out the box and the bottom pieces of foam. Now go ahead and unwrap that bed, and this will be your magnetic build plate. So let's take it out of the packaging, and you can see it comes with some instructions and a few extra sheets of our robo build tag. Um, on the back, there's a magnet, and so we're gonna go ahead and take that off and set the actual build plate to the side for a second. And let's go ahead and install this magnetic piece. At the back, there's a film that is adhesive, and go ahead and line it up in the front. And as you're applying it, just put pressure on it and slowly move it back and forth until the whole thing is down and secure. Now let's go ahead and take the magnetic bed and place it at the back and push it down to where it magnetically snaps into place. If you see that it's not aligned right, just pick it back up and you can put it right back down. If you have larger prints that you're printing with, sometimes this magnetic build plate can, can curl at the ends. And what you'll wanna do is take these clips and place them in all four corners in order to make sure that that bed is secure. Now we're gonna set up your Wi-Fi, see if there's any updates. So let's go to tools, go to settings, hit that Wi-Fi button, and at the top right corner, you're gonna to toggle that to on. Now we're gonna find our Wi-Fi network, type in your password and click OK. And as soon as it gets on the Wi-Fi, you'll see a Wi-Fi icon at the top. Now let's go back into settings. And on the right hand side, you're gonna hit that down arrow all the way to the bottom. And we'll click that update button to see if we have any updates available. Now let's go ahead and level your print plate. If you go into tools and then level, you'll press it and you'll see that your printer starts to move in the level direction. Your print bled will move up and you'll just follow the instructions on the screen. Now we're gonna load some filament. Go to tools, press the filament button, and now go ahead and press load. Let's wait for it to heat up, but while it's heating up, let's go ahead and put our spool holder on the back and put a filament spool on the back of that. Once you have the filament in, go ahead and take your filament guide tube and press it into the holder that you see here. Push the filament all the way through until you can see a bit of it poking out of the other end. Once you're ready to load, put that into the top of the extruder until you feel it kind of grab, and then you'll see the filament pushing out of the other end, and at that point, you are all loaded up. Now we're gonna put the top cap on. You can squeeze the sides until it sits nicely, and you're all set and ready to go.